This is the Dirty Dozens Tournament of Champions. Now entering our studio, a five-time champion from Uptown New York, T-Dog Jenkins. Another five-time champion from Houston's Fifth Ward, Anthony Clark. And last year's Dirty Dozens Tournament champion from Compton, California, Damian Foosball Franklin. And now the host of Dirty Dozens, Stu Dunphy. to the Dirty Dozens Tournament of Champions. What's up, Stu? T-Dog in the house. How see, are you, my like friend? I just seen you last week, man. We see you here every uh, week. How's your mom? She doing fine. How's the colitis? He all right. All righty. <laughs> we are present at the Dirty Dozens game board. We're talking trash can get you cash, and you might be the champ if your mom is a tramp. <laughs> now, let's look at our categories. Is your mama so bald? Your mama's so fat? Mama's so stupid? And American authors. T-Dog, you won the coin toss. Start us off. I think I would take your mama so stupid for 100. Let's have a look. Your mama is so stupid. Uh, yeah, Anthony. Yeah, uh, your mama is so stupid she tripped over a cordless phone. <laughs> and you're on the board. Pick again. How about mama so fat for 100, Stu? Classic category. Your mama is so fat. T-Dog. Your mama is so fat she look like she's smuggling Volkswagen. <laughs> Mama's a big old greasy hoe. <laughs> Alrighty, T Dog, need a category. I think I will go with American authors for 100, students. New category. Born in 1804, Nathaniel Hawthorne wrote such classic fiction as The Scarlet Letter and The House of the Seven Gables. For $100, how stank was his mama? Foosball. Nathaniel Hawthorne's mother was so stank, she sweated black flag. <laughs> Correct. I'll even at a C spot. Foosball, pick a square. I'll take your mother so fat for 200, Stu. Your mama's so fat. Your, ma your mama's so fat, she wakes up in sections. <laughs> the underground don't stop for hoes. <laughs> Let's go with your mama so bald then. For 200, your mama's so bald. Foosball. Your mother's so bald, she blow dry hair like that. <laughs> Yes! Foosball, pick a category. Uh, I'll take American authors for 200, Stu. All righty, listen carefully, Foosball. <laughs> Author and humorist Samuel Clemens wrote the classic Tom Sawyer under his better-known pseudonym. What was that pseudonym, and how big was his mama's butt? <laughs> Anthony. Yeah, Mark Twain and his mama's butt was so big, if you put your ear up to it, you can hear the ocean. <laughs> You have control of the board. I'll take Mama so fat for 300 stew. T Dog, break him off something. <laughs> you too much, man. <laughs> Your Mama so fat she got stretch marks on her clothes. Yes. Pick another. Oh, and that's the end of the first round. Let's reveal the final squares of tonight's mystery disc. Gentlemen, peep this. Foosball. Your mother's so fat, the back of her neck looks like a pack of hot dogs. Yes, for 300. Foosball, you and T-Dog are tied. Anthony will say goodbye to you. It's time for your mama's wheel of sudden death. It's time for your mama's wheel of sudden death. You know the rules. I spin the wheel. Whatever body part it lands on, that's where you have to direct your diss. T-Dog. Teeth. Your mama's so toothless, it takes an hour to eat minute rice. <laughs> Foosball, your turn. Eyes. Your mama's so blind, she got eyes on her butt and still can't see squat. Oh. I'm sorry, Foosball. You use the word eyes, but technically that's a butt diss. And that makes T-Dog our winner. Oh. Congratulations.
Thanks, T-Dog. You've certainly come a long way. Now you can stop here and take home your winnings or face the final test and become a true Dirty Dozen's Grandmaster. Are you willing to risk it all, double or nothing, and go for greatness? <laughs> You'll be facing off with the all-time Dirty Dozens Hall of Fame champion, Ed O'Neill! Who is this loser? Oh, are you trying to step to me, huh? Hey, I have a girl who does that for me. Yeah, come on, Christy Love. What's up? Oh. Hey, back off, Nitro. T Dog, chill. You and I, T Y. Yeah. I love doing coffee. <laughs> She's a rough chick. Now, you'll have to settle your differences on the field of dozens. T Dog, you've got 60 seconds to diss our champion's mama so badly he gets his butt out of the Royal Barca Lounger chair. This is for the championship. 60 seconds on the clock. Ready? Begin. Your mama's so fat, she got a job at Magic Mountain pushing the Buccaneer. <laughs> Your mom is so fat after sex, she smokes turkeys. <laughs> She's so fat after making love to her, I roll over twice and I'm still on her. <laughs> Your mom is so stupid, she was filling out a job application that says sign here, she put Sagittarius. Well, your mom is so ugly, Ted Danson wouldn't date her. <laughs> your mama's so fat, she plays hopscotch like this. L.A., Chicago, New York. <laughs> your mama is so stupid, she gave your uncle because he said it would help his unemployment. <laughs> yeah, well, your mama's glass is so thick, when she looks at a map, she can see people waving. <laughs> and your mama's nose is so big, you can go bowling with her boogers. And your mama's so fat, before God said, let there be light, he told her, move your big butt out of the way. <laughs> for that one, man. What's oh, up? Oh, yeah, yeah. You, Ladies you and gentlemen, you. the champion maintains his throne. Congratulations. Ladies, send him home to his big, fat, stinking mama. <laughs> we don't love them hoes. <laughs> for tonight. Join us the next time on the Dirty 